Hey everyone, welcome back to Brickhead Barista. Thanks for joining me again. If this is your first time here, then welcome. I hope you enjoy the channel. Now, today I'm going to run through a couple of things. A few bits and pieces, updates in the LEGO City. I built a ice cream truck, so I'm going to show you the build of that and a little tour of that. And then a park mock that I've put in. So that's the plan for today's video. I said in the last one that I wasn't going to be able to do another modular this week because I didn't have any table space available. So yesterday I went to Ikea and got myself another couple of tables. So I will be able to build one of those tomorrow and then start work on another building for the Lego City. So that's good news. Now whilst I was off on my trip to Ikea, five minutes down the road is a Lego store. It's almost like I planned it. Um, so I popped in there and I wanted to chat about that first because it was my first experience of using one of these, the new pick a brick boxes, which I'm sure all of you will be familiar with, but it was my first time filling one of these. And I'm really pleased that I did actually. There wasn't a great deal to offer on the pick a brick wall in the store that I went to, but there were some 1x2 white masonry bricks which I wanted for a mock idea I've got that will be coming hopefully later in the year when I have time. So I thought I'd pick up some of those. So I spent my time at the back of the store stacking and clicking bricks together to try and maximise the space that's in here. So believe it or not, I took all of the one by two white masonry bricks that they had um, and I managed to get 610 of them in here, 610 bricks plus some other plate and tile and stuff. So these in the UK cost £15, which is just under $20, I think, US, or 17.50 euros, depending where you are. Now, if I'd bought the same parts, I came back and checked on Bricklink or Brick Owl, this would have cost me over £40. You can do your own conversion, but that's a saving of £25 over Bricklink, so in future I'm going to be checking out the pick-a-brick wall more regularly for parts. So I think that's good to know and a really good idea. So let me know if you've ever had the same experience or what your LEGO store's like. They were really friendly where I went. Uh, they let me just stand there taking my time putting everything neatly into the box, which I was a little bit worried about, a little bit self-conscious, but there was no need to be. I think lots of people must do the same thing. So that was my day yesterday, Ikea and the Lego store. So we are all ready to crack on with the Lego City. But for today, I'm gonna to show you the ice cream truck build and a little update on some additional detail in the Lego City itself. So let's take a look at that now. the completed ice cream truck with the three figures that come with the set. We've got our little skater guy here who we've already seen and his dog comes with him and then we've got the lady who works in the truck. She's got a nice smiley face and cool smart uniform with a little bow tie. Very smart. And then we've got the truck itself. So we see there's a very subtle sign on top. And then we've got a few play features. We've got a sliding window here so that she can lean in and out when serving ice creams. Show you the front briefly because you haven't seen that yet. It's a little sticker that says only the best. There are quite a lot of sticker elements on this set, so be aware of that if they're not your favourite thing. Always a little bit fiddly. And on the other side, the stickers are mirrored, so exactly the same as the other side. And then as you might have noticed on the build video, we can actually get inside through the 
opening door here, opening window. Now a lot of vehicles you can get the top off quite easily and get minifigs in and out that way, but that's not the case with this one, so you have to go through the side, which is a little bit fiddly. But inside we've got a couple of little ice lollies, or ice pops there, whatever you call them. And then on the inside at the front we've got a little cash register or till with a hundred dollar a hundred pound note on the side so either these are very expensive ice creams or she's gonna need quite a bit of change so that is the ice cream truck all built and ready to go into the city and here is the ice cream truck in the city fits in very well currently serving this lady here is a new minifigure that I picked up at the Lego store yesterday. Very pleased with her. I love her t-shirt with a dog and a heart. And her two little... What are they? French bulldogs? French bull terriers? Not sure what they're called. Behind her... It's another couple of minifigures that I put together. I love these. I think they're really awesome. Little boombox accessory there. Trousers and the jacket. Brilliant. Then here is the park, which we'll go into in a sec. But just out the front, there's some bins that I've made for the city. Shouldn't get too excited about bins or trash cans, but there we are. On the left, for general waste, and on the right, what certainly anyone in the UK will recognise as a poo bin. And then there is our dog park, which I'm working on. Nearly finished it, I think. Beware, Cruella de Vil is in the city. But the park has a little coffee cart, which we've borrowed from the boutique hotel. There's a bench being made by our carpenter there. A little bit more decorative work to the building next door. And I put in a little pond. I'm just waiting for some ducks to come. Managed to pick up these squirrel minifigures yesterday as well. They're awesome and they fit in really well. And then the little tree that I made with a cat in it, hiding from the dogs, waiting for delivery of leaves from Bricklink, so they'll be here soon. But that is the park, which I think goes really well between the hotel and the pet shop and apartment there. I've added a bit more detail onto the pavements and sidewalks. See lampposts all the way down the street and some of these post boxes, pillar boxes, which I think are awesome. I'd like it if they were actually usable and you could post Lego letters into them, but they are just sticker elements, but I think they still look really, really cool. Have a quick look down the street. More of the lampposts, more of the bins. Another pillar box there. And that is the city so far. All right, so that is the Lego City as it stands at the moment. Please do let me know what you think in the comments. I do love to get all of your feedback and thoughts on the city, so let me know. In terms of what's coming next, obviously I've got the table now so I can build that this week and make room for the next modular to come. And with that in mind, if you've seen any of my other videos, you will know that I'm trying to build the city in what I consider to be a sort of logical order at least for the minifigures in the city, if that makes sense. Uh, so we've obviously got the pet shop, we've got the bookshop, we've got Assembly Square, which has got a, a cafe, a bakery, a florists. What else does it have? A dentists, a dance studio. We've got the boutique hotel. Now all of these things cost money and I don't know where our minifigures are getting that from. So I think the most logical thing to do would be to add the bank now I'm lucky enough to have that set and it's ready to go, ready to build. So that's what I want to do next. 
please do let me know if you think that's a good idea. The only other set I was thinking of building would be the Jazz Club. I think that will go with the city as it stands at the moment pretty well. However, my logical brain is thinking a night out on the town at a jazz club costs money and they won't have any money if they don't have a bank. So, let me know what you think. The only other thing I've got coming up immediately is, again if you remember, I was lucky enough to get the family reunion set for my birthday and Chinese New Year is on Saturday so I would quite like to build that in conjunction and in time for Chinese New Year. Hopefully I'll have time, obviously I've got to work as well, but I think I might do that before the next modular. So I think that's the plan. Family reunion set, because it's gorgeous, and that will end up in the city eventually. Might need to be mocked and turned into more of a modular, but we'll see. So looking forward to that build. And then the bank, unless you tell me otherwise. So let me know. As always, if you have enjoyed this video, then please do hit the like button. That does mean a lot to me. And if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing if you'd like to see more videos like this. I'd really love to have you as part of the channel. So I think that's enough from me for now. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.